Joe families, welcome to our back to school night, our virtual back to school night. Um, I'm so excited to present this information for you and to work with you and your child through this school year. If you need YouTube translation, please follow the steps below to get there. So welcome to English 8. Um, my name is Katherine Fryermuth, and I am a special education teacher with the English 8 team. Um, and I'm so excited to be your child's teacher this year. So just to start, a little information about me. So again, my name is Cassie Fryermuth, and I am a special education teacher with English 8. This is my first year at Glasgow Middle School. Um, I was previously in um, an elementary school for six years in Fairfax County Public Schools. So I taught sixth grade, fifth grade, and third grade. Um, and I loved the sixth grade students, so I decided to make the jump to a middle school. Um, I graduated from Westminster College. I received my bachelor's in early childhood and special education. And then I received my master's from George Mason University in curriculum and instruction and as a reading specialist. Uh, this year, I am also a varsity volleyball coach at Marshall High School. Personal information about me, I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I moved down to Virginia for my job teaching. Um, I love dessert foods and all things sweet, so I will never say no to a dessert. I also enjoy staying active, so I love playing volleyball, biking, hiking, playing yoga, all things active. Um, and I also enjoy reading young adult novels. So I enjoy reading the same books that um, your children are reading and I like to share recommendations with them. So in language arts this year, um, as you probably know, language arts is a uh, it's built on from previous years. So we're going over new information, but it's also um, a lot of prior knowledge that the students know. So I believe that students learn best when they are provided with a choice, when they feel comfortable in their environment, when they have the opportunity to collaborate with their peers, and when they are willing to try new things and take risks. Um, in order to be successful, I think students need to actively participate in class. And yes, that includes online virtual learning. I know it is different, but love to hear from my students. Um, it is also important for them to ask questions as necessary. So things are different online. They can't just come up to us. So it's important for them to either reach out via email or ask us during class any questions they have. I think it's also important for students to work hard and stay organized especially online there are so many links that they are getting and so many emails so it is very important for them to stay organized um and mostly i think it's important to have fun really learning should be fun for students so we should be doing things that engage them and encourage them to want to come back to our class and to want to learn so those are some things that i believe will help students be successful this year looking at our curriculum this year for english 8 um, we're going to dive deeper into what specifically your students or my students and your children are going to be learning this year. Um, so there are four quarters and our four, first quarter, we have a community lesson, which or a community um, lesson, which we are finishing up this year. And we also a community unit, excuse me. So we have a community unit, which we are finishing up um, soon. And then we will move into our individual individuality unit um, and then for their writing they will have a narrative writing piece um, during quarter two we do have a justice unit and their writing piece for that quarter is their expository writing in quarter three the unit is on truth and their writing will be a persuasive writing piece and then in quarter four, we have a reflection unit and a growth unit, and then reflective writing will be their last writing for the year. Um, moving on to how grading and assessment work. So we are an IB school, Glasgow is, which means our grading may be a little different than what you are used to if you are new to this school. So we do have formative assessments. Um, and formative means that the students are still growing. So they are check-ins for understanding during, during the learning process. 
Um, and this could look like in classwork, um, notebooks, students will have a reading and a writing notebook that we will be filling out throughout the year. This could also be exit tickets that we may ask students questions at the end of class based off of what we were reviewing. Um, summative assessments are the other assessments that students will have. Um, and these are weighted more heavily in the grade book. So summative assessments um, count for about 80% of the grading. Um, and it's just a judgment about what, like the content and skills that students learned. This could look like a reading test. Um, it could be projects. It could also be published writing. Um, your students may also receive other feedback, which would, could be on, in their um, report cards. This could be an email from a teacher. Um, and it's also asynchronous work or homework. And the asynchronous work is happening on Mondays. Um, moving ahead on how I can support you and your child. On Blackboard is the majority of our information. So it has my office hours, the syllabus for what we will be going over throughout the school year, my contact information, and also a weekly lesson grid that will be updated weekly. Um, Google Classroom is what your child will be using mostly. So that they each have a specific um, Google Classroom based on the period that we see them. And they will, all of their work will be in there that we're working on. And also there's a separate Google Classroom for office hours. So they can go to that and click on a Google Meet link for office hours. Um, and my office hours are Monday morning from 10 to 10.45, and then Thursday afternoon from 2.30 to 3.30. So students can bop into office hours based off of when they need support. Um, if they have a question or they need help filling something out, office hours is a great opportunity for them to reach out to their teacher. Um, and here is my email. So feel free to reach out. Feel free to have your child reach out. I would love to hear from you and love to know how I can support you this school year. So again, how I would love to support your student, and I know that you would also. So some things that you can do at home to support your child is just asking them questions. So ask them what they learned in class. Um, and you can also ask to see their grid, which again, will be updated weekly based off of what is happening in school. Um, you can also look at their homework or ask them about their homework. So what assignments do your child does your child have? Um, maybe they need some help completing them. So you can ask them for that. Um, and then again, the grid is a great area to look at, which just has a lot of information that we are doing that week. Some supplies that your child will need. Um, the biggest is obviously their computer. Um, they use that every day and all of their information is on it. Another big thing that we use in language arts that would be important for your child to have are just books. Um, so they can find books at the library. I know Glasgow's library is providing students with books um, per request. There's also a lot of online resources that students can use to find books. Um, Mac and VA is a great resource. There's also eBooks and Myon and a lot of other resources that they can use. Um, a pen and pencil would be helpful along with a binder and loose leaf paper or notebooks if they would like to take notes. And they also have a Glasgow Middle School agenda that would be really useful to help them stay organized. So we are looking forward to a great year at Glasgow Middle School. I know it is virtual, so it is a little different, but I am still very excited to be working with you and your child. Please reach out via email if you have any questions, and I can't wait to communicate with you and have an all-together great year. Enjoy!